Hello, how are you guys? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Irving, how are you? Erin, can you hear me? No. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Good, good. It's because it's raining. It's raining very hard. So maybe it's a little Yes, yes. Here. It is. Mm -hmm. Hey, Aida, I see you're relaxing today. Okay, Aida, how are you? Okay. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me, Emma? Yes. Ah, okay. Because I put in the chat and everybody is quiet, like you like don't hear for the rain or something. I don't know. Respond. I I have a problem in the Zoom in my camera. I don't know that. Okay. Yes. I. I have the problem that it's raining right now here, but maybe in a little bit it calms down. It's a little person, a fourth person. Yes, it, here is very strong today, the rain. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Aneda. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you, Neda. Okay, Emily, no. Okay. Alejandro, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hi, can you hear me, Alejandro? Okay, no problem, no problem. Es que está lloviendo fuerte, la verdad. No la escucho muy bien. Okay, okay. Then I put I put in the chat. I'll put in the chat. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, so guys, in our groups, we are going to talk about 
are hobbies, movies, books, series, music, food, and places to visit. We are going to talk about, for example, my hobbies. What hobbies I like? When do I practice? How do I, where, how, who do I go with? How often? Okay, teacher. Um, yes, um, Alejandro, Alejandro is, is a uh, birthday today. Hey, Alejandro, happy birthday. Gracias. Thanks, teacher. Congratulations. <laughs> Gracias. Okay. Lena, can you hear us? Lena, no. Okay, okay. Teacher, are you listening? Are you, no, you are listening? O sea, le, yo le escucho bien. ¿Le escuchas bien, Emma? Super bien. Okay. And the other people, no, a, a little bit bad. Escucha, teacher, solo que aquí no lo escucho muy fuerte. Yo. Ok. Yo creo que si está lloviendo donde están, es, es lo que lo hace más difícil. Así es. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero ya he entendido lo que vamos a hacer. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. so, perfect. Let's go with our partners. We're going to talk about the different topics and let's see. Eneida, you okay? Nothing. You have problems, Eneida, joining the group? Teacher. Neida, no te puedes unir a los grupos. Um, salas de grupo. I don't know. <laughs> How is? Okay, let me try, let me try. Ya te voy a mandar la invitación. Okay.
Osmel, I put you in the group. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. Hello, everyone. In the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, Exercise 8, Grammar Focus, Messages with Tell and Ask, Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box.
Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let us start. An adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they're organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Remember to use the... Okay, guys. So tell me, what did you learn about your partner? What are the hobbies that he or she does? What kind of things do they like? What was the last movie? Tell us, what did you learn about your partner? My partner liked the music, the romantic music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In my case, my partner liked climb the volcanoes. How do you say auditor teacher? Auditor? Yeah. Auditor. Uh -huh. What happened with the auditor? What? And and the auditor for what? For what? Mm -hmm. My bar is audit. Oh. She, uh, teacher, I am I am auditor. Okay, you're an auditor. Who is the auditor? Roxana. Me, Roxana, me, sorry. Roxana, sorry. Okay. Okay. So what about the hobbies? What what about the hobbies, the activity, the movie? What did you learn about your partner? My partner he like um, metallic music. Okay. Who was your partner? Um, do you live in Pasaquina, La Unión? Who, who is your partner? Me, Osmo. teacher. Oh, ah, okay, okay. It's, it's, it's very far. <laughs> yeah, La Unión, I think it's far from San Salvador. Yes, teacher. 
Uh -huh. LA, the border. In the border? Yeah. Where, Osmia? En la Matillo. En la Matillo. Ah, yes, it's a little far. Yeah. Uh, and Osme, what do you do? I am working in the custom house. In the what house? In the custom house. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. And do you come to San Salvador or only in La Union? In San Miguel? Only, no. only in La Union. I yeah, in, my, in my job, no. There are in traslados, how do you say traslado? Transfers. Transfer, yeah. There are in transfers. Yes, don't worry, Aida. It's okay. It's for the it's the rain. Mm -hmm. okay. yes, I live in the border and yeah, I work in the border. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's good. You have your friends, your family, they live in this area. Yes, it's good for me. Yes, for you it's no problem. Yeah, I see my family every day. And, and living in my place. Okay. Reina, what did you learn about your partner? Okay, my partners uh, like to dance. Um, <laughs> dance, dancing, and um, <gasps> Bueno, mm. dance and, and the other. In, uh, in, in the series, series like Grace Anatomy. Oh, ah, okay. Okay. And, and the favorite food, pupusas. And, y ahí nos quedamos. Adivinen quién. <laughs> <laughs> and Reina, who was your partner? Who was your partner? Este, Emma. Y... Emma. Yes, Emma, y teníamos a Aida. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. And Emma, what did you learn about Reina? Mm? What did you learn about Reina? I don't remember. Mm? <laughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I don't care. Do you <laughs> do you favorite food? Uh, no, do you favorite drink? It a natural no. pressure. Her, her favorite drink. Her favorite drink is a natural refresher. I mm, he's not drink alcohol. She drink alcohol. She. she. Mm -hmm. uh, is a is a what? <laughs> um, is a fee? No, she is a very book. Is a la verdad, no sé cómo se pronuncia, pero era la casa con los vidrios o los vidrios, las casas con vidrios. Hola, Last call. Um, mm -hmm. um, I don't remember. Ah, you uh is a she is a favorite food is a typical food beans. Cream, cheese, eggs. Okay, okay. Sorry, Rain. I don't remember. I am. You say I don't listen. I don't. Memory. My memory is a story. Okay. We'll see. All right. So we're. That's the idea. The idea is. 
we are talking with our partners and we want to get to know our partners. What are we now? Also, we want to talk about, we are going to have maybe like two weeks vacation, right? The class begin in September. So what are you going to do? How are you going to practice your English? Uh, the time between nine and 10 o'clock, how are you going to use? Okay, so with our partners, we want to talk about for the two weeks, what are you going to do? How are you going to continue with your English? Or maybe you don't want to continue the English. You say, no, for the two weeks, I relax. I only, I don't practice. I don't listen to music. Vacation. Uh-huh. You have two weeks because the next, the next course begin, begins in September. But really, September really is only two weeks. So mm -hmm. this is the idea. It's okay what you're going to talk about in your partners? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Emily, can you connect? structure x plus is plus adverb plus adjective good luck hi nice to see you again this time we'll talk about conjunctions we'll talk about and but though and however after the explanation, we want you to practice, so please stay with us. Conjunctions It's an exciting city, and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction but. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He is really good looking. He's not nice, however. 
Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in a discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called modal verbs. Modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb, plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem. Hello everyone, welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache, a backache, sore muscles, a stomachache, a cold, a cough, the flu, insomnia, On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem you have had recently. Too bad. You should be at home in bed. Hello, welcome back. Now that we have gone over health-related words, we're ready to listen to them in context. Also, Pay attention to suggestions given when we get sick. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. 
I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. It's important to get a lot of rest. It's some. Hi. In this session, infinitive compliments will be taught. Infinitive compliments are used to ask and give advice. I will give you a quick example right now. What should I do for a cold? It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. And stay with us and join the explanation after the audio program. Infinitive compliments. What should you do for a cold? It's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Remember when we talk about infinitives, we refer to a verb with no conjugation. So notice that we use to plus verb within our suggestions or advice. So if you want to give an advice to someone, you should do it this way. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take cough drops. husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest... Hi, ready to begin? In the conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? May I help you? Can I have a... Hello, everyone. This time we will be introduced to the model verbs. Okay, I think it's better. By my house, it stopped raining. I don't know if by you, maybe not stop, but now it's normal. It's calm. It is raining. Uh, it's raining. It still continues to rain. Yeah. Okay, okay. Str stronger. <laughs> uh, here's softer. Here is very, it's very, okay. it's very relaxed now. So uh, now uh, here, here is stronger and there are. Uh, Trueno? How do you say it? Anybody know how to say trueno? Thunder. Excellent. Thunder. Mm -hmm. Thunder Thundercats. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> there you okay. go. Thank you. Yeah. So tell me, what are the things? What did your partner say? What are they going to do for the next two weeks? My partner. The next week he work. He going to work. Ah, who was your partner, man? Oscar. Ah, okay. Aguilar, Aguilar. Aguilar, okay. Uh huh. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, Oscar, what happened? You have to do more work, more hours. Yes, my my is with my business. My business is more difficult time 
with my home, my work. My work is in the morning and my business is afternoon. So my time is very short. Mm, okay. Okay. In, in, the, in the morning, in the morning, I am a teacher. And hey. Online. And what do you teach, Oscar? Yeah, I teach her informatica in English basic. Okay. English excellent. Basic. <laughs> no, that's excellent. Excellent. <laughs> For a, a instituto, a escuela, what? College. Uh, uh, a uh, colegio. Uh, uh huh. Colegio. Okay. College. The college. Um, uh, imparto. Imparto English. I give. Thing? I give. I give class. Um, um, first, first, fourth grade, in bachillerato, bachillerato, no sé cómo se llama. High school, high school. Ah, no, high school. In, a, in a high school, is eleven, eleven grade. Hey, that's good, Oscar. You that way you have the opportunity to practice your English also in the day. Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. Yes, it's correct. Yeah, I am a thing. I am. I thank you. For, for the la oportunidad, for, 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 for the, the opportunity. opportunity. Yeah, thank you. Good, good. And Oscar, what about Osmel? What is Osmel going to do for the next two weeks? Um, uh, he say, uh, pretend continue the class in English. Uh, the problem is in the work. He work is um, turn rotative in three turn rotative, uh, turn three turn rotative, three turn, three rotative turn. And he time, don't have a more time. Uh, okay, okay. But but he plan is continue the class English. Yes, it's difficult when your schedule changes. It's the rotative schedules is difficult to study. Yeah, it's correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Aida, what about your partner? What is your partner going to do? Uh, Os Oscar, I think so. Oscar Castillo. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Okay. He told me. He he wants to continue study okay. in the morning because he have more time in the morning. Okay. Yes. Better when you have more time, you are more focused. Yes, and I he told me too that he needs more practice to speak, and he write and read English better than I speak. Okay, okay. And he, he, he needs practice to speak English. Okay. And Oscar, what did you learn about Aida? What is she going to do? Well, uh, I remember. <laughs> For her, um, well, uh, Aida corrected me <laughs> if, if I mistake. For you, the hardest part, well, uh, is, to, is to translate sometimes. But, but she liked to, to speak, to speak the language. She told me that. Okay. Okay. I'm Naida. going to rest. You're going to what? I like to go to the bed early in the in the evening. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yes, it's nice for two weeks. You go to bed early, more time to sleep. <laughs> okay. That's correct. Mm hmm. Roxana, what about your partner? My partner uh, is Alejandro. 
Mm-hmm. Um, he he going to um the next month the or oh, the next uh week um uh, um rest. Uh, he he like um, sleep. In uh, same um, Independence Day in September, um, he he rest. Uh, he going to rest. Okay. Okay. Alejandro, what about Roxana? What did you learn about Roxana? Okay, maybe Alejandro has problems with for the rain, no problem. Okay, let's go with Edwin. Uh -huh, I imagine, no problem, no problem. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, Alejandro. It's, it's okay, I understand. Edwin, what about your partner? My partner is Eneida, mm -hmm. but I'm sorry, in my house, raining, raining very hard. No, but for, we can, hear you. I can we, hear her. She is. Mm, o sea, no, no pudimos hablar porque estaba lloviendo bien, bien fuerte. Está lloviendo bien fuerte y no se escuchaba nada. Ah, uh, okay, okay. No, no problem, no problem. Yes, Aida. He can hear because it's raining. Yes, yes, yes. It's a problem, but it's with the rain. It, it happens. And Reina, what about you and your partner? Okay, my partner is Emma, and she will uh, rest and and speak, practice speaking, listening and use use apps libango and libango okay. algo así creo que me dijo and, and learning new verbs every day todos los días okay and uh, watch watch movie in English and subtitles. Subtitles? Subtitles. Mm -hmm. In English. Okay. Oh. Is that right? Emma, is that the right, the, the right, uh, what is the Livango? Livango is a very, very good app. Uh, Ah, Limango. Libango. 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 Okay. What happened with Libango? Tell us, what is the app? He's a uh, speaking a uh, grammar. No sé cómo se dice gramática. Grammar. Grammar. Grammar is a uh, very good. Okay. Libango. Huh. I saw. And, okay, what did what about your partner? What did you learn about your partner? Rain. Mm -hmm. She is a listening. A, I, um, new verse. New words all day. Um, she is watch video, watch after videos in the class. Okay. Um, yeah. 
Ella se ríe porque casi no me acuerdo de las cosas. <risa> ay, ama, ay, ama. Ajá. Tengo memoria de Dori, de la de Nemo. Ajá, ajá. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, so it's good. Everybody has different ideas. Some are going. Teacher, to... sorry. Yes, Joanna. I want to participate. Yes, Joanna, please, please participate. Okay, thank you. Uh, my my aunt, what's Irving? Okay. Um, he he has a uh, student English in a. Uh, European, European Academy, no sé si así se dice. Uh -huh. European, European uh, Academy. European Academy, okay. He obtained a diploma there. Okay. Um, he practiced uh, with American people, uh, watches videos on the YouTube, mm -hmm. and consulting other platform uh, at speaking English with teacher Vanessa read uh, amazing in English uh, an article no sé si es article article yes. okay in in English uh, only only sobre Irving okay oh, okay and Irving, what did you learn about Joanna? What is she going to do? Okay, she told me that she's going to practice um, in the platform and Duolingo. He's going to learn irregular and regular verbs. He wants to, she wants to, to get more vocabulary, to speak more fluently and to have a very listening skills. So that's why um, that's all that she told me. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. It's good that everybody wants. Yes, and that Duolingo is good. It's a compliment, right? Is the idea is is not only one Livongo, like Livango or Duolingo or Babel or other apps. It's good to use as a compliment for your class because it gives you the opportunity. But Really, the opportunity to speak is in the class with your partner. Thus, this is the opportunity for you to speak. Okay. I see many people are tired. I see Aida. Ay, ay, ya casi no tanto. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher, but I'm tired. But yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Tomorrow, when you go to, when you finish at nine o'clock, you say, ay. It's so delicious to sleep early. Yeah. <laughs> but enjoy and learn English too. I'm glad. I'm glad, Aida. Okay. So we have many things. The important, remember, the important is maybe we don't have class for two weeks. It's probably begin the class in September. But it's important not forget the English. Review, check the vocabulary, look at your grammar watch the videos or practice for the apps many now today many apps for free right so teacher, this is the you idea are yes. continue, you are going to continue teaching us maybe maybe yes because th today they told me that uh, we will con that the class will continue in september and they will they will notify me if i continue with the same group or not okay i hope to i I would like for you to continue with us. Ah, thank you, Aida. Thank you. So I hope. I think maybe it's a possibility. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I know that for many people at this time they are tired and they say, I know it's the last class. But nah, it's not work. You have to enjoy the English. Because if not, yeah. then it's difficult. When for you the English class is work woof, is very hard but if you like english you listen to music you watch tv you uh, have podcasts or apps then it's no problem you learn quickly okay okay so we're gonna go ahead with 
And we're gonna take a moment and just think about if, if you have an opportunity to celebrate. Now we are in the pandemic, right? It's difficult, but how do you like to celebrate when you pass the level, when you pass from advanced, when you pass from a, one class to the other? Do you say, ah, my diploma, I, I, I have my diploma, I keep, or what do you do? How do you sell to finish the level? In your office or at your work, is an obligation to present the diploma or no? No. I learned English because I want, I want, and I would like to speak with another person and maybe for a new job, but I. I'm going to present the diploma in my, in my job. Okay, so it's nice you have to present the diploma in your job, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too, this year. You too, Oscar. Yeah, me too in, in, the, in, the, in the college. Ah, okay. In the school, in the school, okay. Yes, in some schools is, is, or in some places, is necessary because they say, hey, we want to see, we want to see that you are advancing, that you are yes. English. Because in some places you receive a bonus or maybe you receive more money for having a good level of English. Yes, sure. Okay. All right. But it's good, like Aida too. No, you learn English for you. It's, the diploma is not an obligation, right? Very okay. good. Hey, 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 it stopped raining. Now it's finished the class and now, now it stopped raining. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> You're not sure. No, it continues, Osmel. Yes, continue raining. And, Osmel, where do you live? I live in Pasaquina, La Unión. Eh, ah, in La Unión, wow. Yeah. I live in San and it is raining too. Yes, Anna. It's raining all all country. Oh. And I wanted I wanted to go to La Union this weekend. I wanted to go on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. But I wanted to go to the volcano. They have a the, or or, or the, uh, el Espíritu de la Montaña. Ah, uh, Panchagua. In Conchagua, yes. The Saturday, Saturday. I want to go, but I, I think I know to drive <laughs> all the way to La Unión. I know. <laughs> yes, you needed to. You needed a car, not truck. Yes, you need a truck, and you need two days, or to go to camp, to go to see in the morning and to return. I, yeah, <laughs> I think you need two days. Yes, yes. We, we can go. <laughs> Eso. <laughs> I like it's come one time. Hey, good idea. Good idea. Okay. Yeah. Well, it is for me, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for being part of my class. And I hope we continue again in the next class. I enjoy your vacation. Small, small, but good vacation, right? I hope you enjoy, and I see you in September. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank you, I see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. It was Thank pleasure you. to talk Thank with you. you. Thank you. You too. Nice to Good meet luck. you. Nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you for all. Thank you, guys. See you soon. See you soon. Good night. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you all.